How's it going, meteorologist Mike Brookins? I hate to say it, but I told you so. Rotten washout conditions during the afternoon and evening. I know it took a while before the rain moved into the north country in the Adirondacks, but you've got the rain now. As far as recording time, we have no weather alerts for the bulk of central New York. We may find some flood watches, some flood advisories, possibly a flood warning being issued. Most likely not. Most of the waterways are forecasted to stay below flood banks uh, levels. Now we may also see some poor drainage flooding in the city areas. Uh, some small streams and creeks could possibly overflow. So we'll stay on top of the situation. At this point, a flood watch is in effect for a couple of counties here, St. Lawrence County and then Herkimer County. Also, if you look in western New York, they're under a flood watch, but central New York not. Temperatures today during the daytime only hit 67 degrees. It was warmer where the sunshine was out during the early morning hours. 72 degrees in Watertown, 71 in Rome. Even in Saranac Lake, they made the 70s. So odd, we were cooler. That was the daytime high temperature. Almanac is going to show the 24-hour high temperature from midnight to midnight because at midnight last night, right when we brought in the new day, we were at 69 degrees, so that technically is the high. But 67 during the day is 13 degrees below what we should be this time of the year. Last night's low 57 degrees will be about the same level for tonight, so a little bit below average. And as of recording time, we picked up 0.16 inches of rain, but it's coming down moderate to heavy, so that number is for sure going to be going up. We could see an inch of rain tonight alone with more coming tomorrow and Sunday night. Here's what we expect. The heavy rain during the early evening will break up to periods of rain and then some scattered showers and thunderstorms. I'm not thinking severe thunderstorms with this, but some downpours are likely, so be aware. Could be some claps of thunder and a little bit of a breeze tonight as well. Scattered showers and thunderstorms still around for Sunday. Maybe we get a couple of peaks of some with a mostly cloudy sky. It remains cool, 60s. Then a few showers into Monday midday before we start to clear out and we get back into the 70s and 80s are back by Tuesday. Here's our future cast looking wet for tonight. More indoor activities, you know, the movie marathons going through the evening and overnight. You can see all that rain hitting the roofs of your house. Now, as we go towards the late night hours, I think there'll be a little bit drier conditions west of Onondaga County. More scattered showers and thunderstorms, scattered showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon here. Going into Sunday night, still occasional to scattered showers. I think the thunderstorms are over as we're in the back side, the cooler side, and mostly cloudy to start Monday with a few rain showers. But as we go through the afternoon, those should finally come to an end and we get some late day clearing. Just to show you how much rainfall we're talking about here, and I think central New York is really one of the highest areas of precipitation. If I step out of the way, you see western New York a little less as well as far eastern New York. And these, I think, are a little overdone. But one, one and a half, two inches of rain, very likely here in central New York. So there's the possibility of some flooding. This evening, heavy rain will become periods of rain and ease up a little bit. Temperatures drop to about 56 degrees. Scattered showers and thunderstorms late at night, so still some downpours. Mostly cloudy. Scattered showers and thunderstorms for Sunday, so not a big temperature rise, hitting only 68 when we should be up at 81. 74 then on Monday. Monday, a few showers in the morning and midday. Tuesday, scattered showers and storms, especially in the afternoon, but a little bit warmer.